Okay, folks, welcome aboard flight uh, 5800 over to uh, Nashville. We're negative. We are cleared on the left. Taxi check. Off. Set. Set and checked. Set and checked. No changes. Performed. Set and checked. Pre flight completed. Both off. Checked. Thank you. All right, folks. So, like I was saying, we are in um, Indiana. No, no, we're not. We're in uh, Dulles. And we're going to be taking a taxi on a runway 30 here. So, we've got a long kind of taxi. We're going to jump on this. Uh, I think we're going to jump on the inners here. We're going to go down Yankee 2, straight down Yankee. And um, that should kind of take us there. We got a long haul. So, we've. Well, we don't have a long haul, but we started both of these engines, and uh, we're going to let it go. I'm going to show you the reason why we're not live tonight is I've got an engagement here. I'm taking my wife on a little date tonight, so figured I'd give this to you folks before um, you have something to watch, you know, where you can, you can watch a little charter flight over to Nashville and this is going to be the brand new Nashville scenery. We just got it installed today so uh, if you're wondering that's what we've got in store for you on the uh, landing. So we've got a uh, flight over to Nashville. It, I, I'm seeing in our paperwork about an hour and 30 minutes give or take it. Our paperwork's saying about an hour and 32 minutes once we're airborne. It's probably going to be more like a two-hour flight. It's kind of what we're booked for. And so we're going to take this uh, taxiway all the way down. Uh, you can see this is uh, the scenery is dullest scenery, and I forgot who did it. But um, it's pretty amazing. I do, I do enjoy it. Oh, I think I know who did this. This is... Um, flight beam that did this airport did a great job and the aircraft that we're flying obviously is an updated version we just installed it uh, the other day you can see we're cooking down there the taxiways <laughs> um i have to slow this aircraft down a little bit so once i start seeing the needle move and it's like oh, okay we need to start slowing down there Okay, there we go. We're going to be taking 30, so basically departure over to the uh, east. Oh, excuse me, westbound, northwest, I would say. And then we're going to go ahead and start our turn. Uh, kind of more south, so that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. Hockey season is uh, almost over, so I think we got uh, about another couple more months and two more months of the hockey season, and then we're pretty much going to be doing a lot of line flights. I know for me, you know, with Coastal Airways here, we're working on getting a lot more routes and stuff ready to go. So that's going to be interesting. Aircraft landing on uh, that runway. Now, I do have SF FSLT installed, and uh, that's on right now. So, you can probably see a lot of airplanes at the gate here, and uh, some taxi, and that's all good stuff. And we're going to get on the brakes here shortly. Um, we're going to actually taxi. We've got a whole block coming up here. We can jump down on Foxtrot. You see there's Foxtrot right there. We're passing. We got Yankee 9. I don't want to continue straight because we do. We're going to be a little weird. 
I think this is Yankee 3. We got Yankee 8 coming up. Yankee 9. And it's going to be like a kind of a weird turn here. I'm going to turn the aircraft. It's a slight turn here on uh, Yankee 11. Here we'll just tap the brakes here. There we go. I want to turn down on Yankee 11 here. Again, this is an MD-80, so let's let the nose roll over, and then we'll just crank it over. Like this. Let's get the airplane turned over. Like that. Take a peek over our nose. Nobody's there. That's good. And then we're just going to kind of take this down to Yankee. I don't know why I so weird. Okay, I'm going to go Yankee 11 here. Stop the aircraft, do our checklist, and then we'll take off. I don't see anybody on final. It's the other side I'm worried about, right? It's the crossing that way. And what we'll do is we'll taxi on the way, take a peek, and then uh, if it's clear, we'll go. We're not doing a VAT sim flight because I have uh, FSL team. And nobody's online right now, so. I wanted to actually fly the sim with FSL team to see how. See how it goes. All right, let's go to set our brakes. There we go. All right, let's get the checklist going. Cabin crew, please be seated for takeoff. Lineup check. Secured. Left side closed. Checked. Set to alpha. Auto. Received. Okay. Ready? All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Take off. We're going to depart out of this runway at 30 left. Uh, excuse me, 30. It's a 10,000 foot runway. We have plenty of room. Uh, basically, we're just going to fly straight out. Uh, we're just make a, a little turn to the south. Uh, we'll go to Gina and then we'll uh, fly straight up. Okay, let's clear it. It's cleared on my side over there. It looks like I got an airplane out way out there. Uh, he's no factor though. So, brakes released. Maybe. There we go. Difficult to tell. Kind of peeking down there. Just trying to see if we have anybody on the phone. Looks good on both sides. All right. Okay, I'm on. Let's turn Cliff on. There we go.
navigation. Select climb power. Engage VNAV. Flaps up. Autopilot on. Climb check. Auto. Trapped at the slats. So, uh, that's it. Let's take a look out the window. Probably see one of the suit. And uh, I'll just be looking. It's about 9 degrees, so we can go ahead and turn on the uh, engines. For the engines. Just until we get out of that. Two valves open. The valves are close. That's good. Just until we clear it. Doesn't mean we're getting iced up. There's a Good thing you could do is just check the windshield wipers, make sure we're good to go. It looks like we're out of the stuff too, so that's it. Once I can see stars, I'm going to the clouds, so I think they did a really good job flexing those ones. Just kind of in and out, so we'll just wait until we really pop out and it's kind of hard. And You know, in the soup like this, it's hard to jump. There's 10,000 feet. We're going to climb to an altitude of 36,000 36, feet. Kind of master caution. Sort of fuel pressure. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and just turn on this. I can see what's going on. Great, through uh, 10,000 feet, we accelerate, and that is all she wrote for the takeoff departure. On our climb, we're going to go ahead and just uh, see how the airplane is, is accelerating. There we go. There's the climb. Waiting for the climb right now. And now, let's climb. So we're going to go this altitude, and we're going to go click on me now. We should hit the main climb. Good on speed, here comes the climb, and we're out of here. It looks like we've got uh, good weather up ahead. We're out of the, pretty much out of the suit. Yep. Kind of. Right, that's it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll see you folks when we're on top of the set, and then I'll show you kind of... Uh, Nashville. Let's see what Nashville has to offer. All right, we'll see you. Later.
Okay, folks, we're on our descent into the um, Nashville area through 6,500 feet right now. And um, we'll take over manually here just on the heading and uh, we're going to set up for the ILS 02 center. It looks like the weather in Nashville uh, 320 10, overcast 3300, altimeter 3032. So we're going to be heading select. I'm just going to elongate this down with this ILS here. That we definitely set up the correct. We're not going to do a shell. Jackson looks like 3,000 feet on the level, coming at uh, 5 aircraft. Um, TCAS this way in here at 700. Uh, two centers, the uh, airport. landing on some of the clouds. Okay, we're driving at 700 feet on the down. Let's see how there is in the sky. Extend slats. Slats extend.
Laps 15. check down set to alpha armed set checked received okay folks final check complete we're hooked up Spooling up, that's good. Just making sure that there's no traffic in front of us. Gear is down, three green. We got uh, speed range is around 28. So once we land here, uh, we're probably going to try to get off on November. If we can, that's going to be a tough one, but uh, maybe not. So I doubt we're going to get November. I'll have to taxi all the way down to CRC or up and around. And then over to the south car. It's beautiful. It's a little gusty. You can see that wind flex is real nice now. We did a good job. Bump on that runway or something, that would be really weird. Yeah, go ahead and break. Now, welcome to the uh, Nashville here. We're going to go ahead and taxi. We're going to taxi off of uh, this and we'll go ahead and clean up the aircraft. We're going to go down 
Uh, this runway, well, this taxiway, I should say. Let me tell them to clean it up. After landing check. All right, we're going to go to Sierra 7 over to November. Yeah, this is November. So we'll take November straight down to Kilo. Uh, I'll just give, kind of try to give you a good look at the uh, terminal before we taxi across there. We're going to go down to Kilo now. Or take Kilo all the way to the other side. You want to cross this taxiway. I'm going to turn off number one. There's a little more control over the taxi speed with one engine on. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and down, um, drop down. We can drop down, keep going across this runway. We're gonna cross this runway here. Let's make sure nobody's on final. It's hard to see with that A-frame. A lot of Southwest jets, obviously. This is a stronghold of theirs in good old Nashville. So far, I mean, the, the scenery looks great, at least from the dark. The only issue was that that stupid bump in the road there. I don't know what that was about, but uh, they got to fix that. It's almost like cartwheel the airplane. Or that happening too sometimes with, with a couple people. Okay, we're going to go ahead and taxi past this. We're going to go down to Alpha, and we'll turn down Alpha. There's Alpha right here. Make our turn down to Alpha now. We'll go ahead and extend this. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and taxi all the way down this uh, run taxiway down to the Sarth Cargo apron area. I don't know which one that is. I'll have to figure it out. I'll go get... Uh, we'll find out here in just a minute. Yeah, I see that, but I don't know what gate it is. Huh. It's going to be on the south side somewhere. That's where we're going, that south side of the uh, that cargo area. The issue is I don't know where it is, like on the sim. Don't know. OK, 
can't imagine where that is. So we'll, we'll figure it out as we kind of taxi in here. But this is the new scenery. This scenery is from Feel There. Um, I believe it just released today, actually. Which is very fortuitous for us because now we, you guys get to see the the scenery. At least it's, I know it's at night. It's not ideal, but it's better than it's better than default. That's for sure. Is there anybody available to park us anywhere in this ramp? Let's see if we can get a cargo thing going here. Let's see if GSX could fire up. Okay, we want to go on the cargo side. Let's yeah, see, this is hard. South parking is this? Maybe south parking. Uh, all right, let's try that. I see something going on. There they are. Look at that. They knew we were coming. Gotcha. Good. Taxi lights going off. I see it. Oh, we're blind them. It's pretty cold. That's it, we're done. And the cargo ramp brakes coming on. And it's going to shut them off here. Seatbelt signs off. Great, turn my lights on. I want to flood the cockpit. There we go. Okay, engine shut down. That is off. We're going to go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and deplane. Call GSX for deployment. The boarding requested. Try to fire this back up. Flight mode's coming off. Park and check. Parking check. <clears throat> Set. Retract it. 
established. Off. 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 Stand by. All right, folks, let's go ahead and uh, tell them we're here. And that's it. We'll just say, uh, file the flight. And it has been sent, so we are good to go. I'll go ahead and write my fuel numbers down, and uh, we'll be ready for the to go for the next haul here. 4,500 over 4,250, nothing in the center. Got the APU running, obviously. And the team's going to get out and go to the cargo side like they always do. We'll pop the door. And we'll get everybody out of the aircraft. Any door coming open. Um, I do want to check really quick. Just one thing. This tech log is brand new. So you can see we have two cycles on the airplane right now. Uh, last check was you know, February 16th, I guess. We got required as actions transit check, and we'll just go ahead and check that. Nil, deferred items, and there's no malfunctions to defort to report. That's it. Well, folks, I'm gonna go outside here. I hope you enjoyed the flight. It's quite fun flying here. This brand new BNA scenery. I'm gonna take a picture of that. And we're going to get on our merry way, and I hope you have a great weekend. We'll probably see you Monday on an all-day stream. We're going to be streaming the 737 through an entire day over at Coastal. Enjoy, folks. Until next time, keep the blue side up and the brown side down. We'll see you.